Hi, I'm Ben O'Reilly from Wood Finishes Direct and welcome to the product test and how-to video guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this plank from a pallet into this handmade plaque. This video ties in heavily with last week's video, so if you haven't watched that yet, make sure that you click the link that's appearing on screen now and give it a watch. These make ideal anniversary gifts, baby shower presents, even wedding decorations, and they're so easy to make. The full list of all the products that you need is going to be available at the end of the video, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. So, presuming you dismantle your pallet, you'll be left with these. They're rough pine planks. They've got boot prints all over them, they're frayed at the edges, they've seen better days. You need to sand them down. I've sanded it with P80, then P120 sandpaper. I've also rounded the edges, but that is just a question of taste. I've drilled holes in it too. That's for putting twine through and hanging on your wall. However, they will look great just freestanding on a mantelpiece or a shelf. Now they are nice and smooth, it's time to dye them. So I'll be using the MAND water-based dye in white and to put it on, I'll be using the MAND's disposable foam brush, great for these projects. Firstly, stir your dye thoroughly and it's best practice to keep stirring it as well through application if you're doing a larger project. And then just simply pour it into your paint tray. using the foam brush, just apply it liberally and with the grain. This is why it's so important to wear gloves and apron when you're doing anything like this. Uh, it can get a little messy. Just give it a wipe off with a man's microfiber cloth after this, just remove any excess from the surface and then you just leave it to dry for around an hour. While it's drying, just make your stencil. First things first, once it's dry, give it a rub down with a man's finishing powder or other similar abrasive and then get everything together that you need for the project. Masking tape on your stencil and then stir your dye. I'm going to be using the man's water-based wood dye in red. And to put it on, I'm going to be using a man's disposable foam brush as well. So once it's stirred, you've just got to pour a tiny, tiny amount into your paint tray. What I like to do is, get, I like to get a microfiber cloth on the side. You just slightly dip in your foam brush, blot off any excess. That's a little bit too much. And just so it's barely giving off any dye whatsoever. And then working in from the edges, just stain it. This is a time consuming process, so I'm going to speed the footage up a little bit. You do need to take your time with it as well, otherwise you will get bleeding, so slow and steady wins the race in this one. So I'm pretty happy with how that's gone on going to leave it for around an hour and then I'll do the unveiling. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so this has had plenty of time to dry, now it's for the big reveal. No, there's no bleeding whatsoever, I think it looks pretty good. Now just give it a little rub down with a finishing pad and you're ready to finish. The top cut I'm going to be using is the Morels Nitrocellulose Lacquer Spray in High Gloss. As with any spray finish, do make sure you wear a suitable mask and you do it in a well-ventilated area. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do the first coat in here and I'm going to move outside to do subsequent coats. Firstly, well shake the can and then in short, even bursts, apply the lacquer. Do allow it to dry before you apply any further coats as it will cause an uneven finish if you don't. Right, so I've let this dry for about 20 minutes and that's a really important step you've got to denib. I'm using a man's finishing pad to do this. What this does is it helps smooth out any imperfections and it also aids the adhesion of further coats. And regarding further coats, you're going to be doing between five and eight, depending on what look you want to achieve. After seven coats, mine turned out like this. A full list of all the products you use and everything that you need is appearing on screen now. It's also available in the description on YouTube. If you like this video and want to see more unique content, simply subscribe to the YouTube channel like and comment on any of the videos that you like, and of course, always do a test area.